it was an amazing walk along the Baltoro Glacier. The sun shone right on the top of K2, Broad Peak, G1, G2, G3, G4. It was absolutely amazing, incredible walk. Uh, about 15 minutes from Concordia, we had to unfortunately say goodbye to Basil, who couldn't continue with us any farther, and we felt bad. We want to be together as a group, so that was pretty hard, but we kept going. Along the walk, the young explorers are reminded how dangerous trekking along the ice really is. On the side of one of the mountains, a serac broke off and caused a huge avalanche, and the, the snow went hundreds of metres up into the air. It was really incredible to watch. The weather is not too great at this stage. There's a little bit of wind coming uh, over the Gondogora Pass and uh, hopefully not a lot of snow will fall and we can have a good rest here this afternoon and later go to advanced base camp. This morning we left base camp at 7 o'clock in time to just head up the Vin Glacier flanking the, these summits. I'm feeling the altitude uh, so I'm breathing a bit deeper than that. You won't believe how amazing this place is. Just powder everywhere like no one else has ever been here. I'm pretty tired because walk at 5,000 meters is very yeah, tiring but with a slow path you can uh, walk for a long distance so we will see. Slowly okay? Yeah slowly. Don't accelerate at all. And now we are looking at the two unnamed summits that we have to decide which one to climb, which one will get all of us to the top and safely. And we have a lot of our gear with us for advanced base camp where we're going to set up. I feel quite confident that the conditions is good to climb. So from now on the ball's in their court.